instead. Hopefully, Fall Guys is a good idea. Let's get started. We tried to test out the mode that is active now, and I feel like my sanity just broke. <laughs> so, we are not doing hexagon trials. I am here with Nick. Hello, everyone. Um, no thunder today because she's tired. <laughs> And because I streamed, I waited too long to stream. So she had to go. Okay. Lighting is good. Ish. Lighting is passable. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, Ty is having fun. Dizzy heights, oh no. She she got her her horse on fire. Oh <laughs> <laughs> in breath a while. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> the horse the horse is on fire. <laughs> oh no, my horse is on fire. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna go around. I know now to not fight with the current, but sometimes I like to break the mold and <sighs> you can't tell me where to go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's your daily occurrence, isn't it? I don't like being restricted, okay? I feel like freedom of speech <laughs> and freedom of expression should go hand in hand, okay? All throughout history, artists have been have been censored. And whoa, look at that! There's two balls in a row. They're stuck. Chicken wings. That's that's weird. I should put that in weird glitches in a Thunder's channel. Chicken wings. Really? Yes. Oh my God! It's filling up so fast. Oh no. <laughs> Starting off it, the stream at a, a good note. <laughs> it's a little uh, delayed. Yeah. It's weird. Hello, folks. I do art and games, and today is, I don't know, an extra stream. Lately, I've been doing extra streams here or there so that um, I don't get bored in quarantine. <laughs> But normally, it's one art day and one game day. We're gonna do Ghost of Ashima tomorrow. I just didn't feel like doing it today. I was originally gonna do it today. I made this screen. Yeah. I exited to the menu again. Oops. Great! So yeah, I guess I could wait out then. Yeah. I think I got everything that's worth anything in the store today. <laughs> Sparkle marble. I tried the, the hexagon trials the other day and I killed it. <laughs> then I tried today and I'm just like Man, I suck. <laughs> Isn't that just the period of gaming? You go from pro to noob in the drop of a hat. If you, if say, you so. say so. <laughs> hey, Thunder! Thunder! Sup? <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm just waiting now, because it accidentally exited out. Oh yeah, it says you're spectating. Hi. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> okay. 
And how are you doing today, Thunder? I know. Today was crazy, so I thought we could use some wholesomeness. Wholesome stream to get our minds off of how ugly the world can be. Just to be clear, I don't support either. Okay, let's go. Puppies, stop walking around everywhere. I, my office has a hardwood floor, so I can hear every little pitter patter of your feet. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about it now. I know it's very controversial, so. Fall Guys! Oh, yeah, fun! <laughs> bacon! <laughs> Fall Guy in a bacon suit. Ah, damn it! <laughs> no, that's a wiener. I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's been a while, so I might be a little rusty. Gosh darn You're it. Rusty. This is just a warm up, okay? I'll get better. I just need to get my mind off of stuff. Alright. Oops. Ah. Again? Remind me remind me to stay in next time. I did it again. Oh wait, you didn't make it either. Thank god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we'll let you know if I get kicked out, because lately one of the reasons why I did stop doing Fall Guys on stream is because I got kicked out of the um, party multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> I play every night because it's one of the few games I can play with my friends. But, uh, I alternate between this and Rocket League. I still play Rocket League off stream. I might do another one soon. I know everybody wants me to play Rocket League again. A lot of people go, hey, um, how come we don't play Rocket League anymore? I was like, I do. I'm still gold one, sadly. <laughs> yeah, rank up. My goal is to get diamond this year. <laughs> I'm kidding. Maybe. No, with, with me. me. Maybe I'll tag team with Thunder. <laughs> Dang, today's rotation just hates me, doesn't it? It's giving me my weakest maps. <laughs> Who, I wonder, starts with Thunder. She is like no other. Spectacular. Bright. Very Always cheerful. Always willing to compromise. You get what I'm saying? Or do I have to theorize? Man, I wish I didn't stop beatboxing. I went through a beatboxing phase. I thought I was the awesomest beatboxer in the world. I was okay. Okay, you're okay. too much bragging. <laughs> Not really. Come Stop on. bragging. Come on, oh! <laughs> you got bald! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank goodness it's the normal one. Sometimes with the, um... They had, like, whirly jig. Yes! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> and just so you know, um, I'm getting a new splitter for my um, headphones soon. I feel like the sound quality is a bit better when I have my headphones on, even though I feel ridiculous with those big things on my head. It 
if it's if it's the headphones themselves that are causing the static, then I might have to get new ones soon. I don't really want to though, because <laughs> I suck at Rocket League. It just takes practice. I've been playing Rocket League since it came out. I've been playing the ranked mode since maybe 2016? 15. 15? When it came out. Man, I was stuck. I was stuck in bronze for the longest time, and then suddenly I went from bronze to gold. I, like, ranked up three levels, like, a year or two ago. You know? You might not see improvement when you first play, but... You know, sometimes playing the free modes is fun. Sometimes it's fun just having a huge field to yourself where you can just goof off. I've literally just rode around in circles for an hour before. Because <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to be able to drift in Rocket League without having anybody behind you. <laughs> I'm like, woo! And don't worry about Pro Skater, I'm gonna continue soon. I am almost finished with the New York level, and all that's left is the um, high scores, so I could just do a freestyle stream, and just getting as high score as possible, <laughs> or until I complete the goals. Then we'll move on to the next level, as always. I feel like I did my best when I had the um, heavy metal chill music on, as opposed to just the regular chill music I usually play. It just felt more natural. Almost there! Almost there! Yes! Thank God no one pushed me off this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thunder! Thanks, Thank you, Thunder! <laughs> there, that's more like it. That's the hands I remember. I need to take a break soon, though, because um, I'm starting to get some wrist pains because I'm drawing okay. all the time. Give up. Give up. Let's, Let's give a break. Give a break. Yeah. Next, Next week. week. My wrists are starting to hurt. I need to have. Uh, do they have carpal tunnel cream? I think they do. I need to save my wrists. You you need a shot. shot. Yeah. 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 It's not it's pretty. Not pretty. The, big the big needle. I remember um, I went to the hospital for reasons I'm not going to disclose. And they oh, had to. Oh, you fucking people! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, stuck a, they stuck a needle full of morphine and. Uh, into me and I got the hugest bruise on my arm. I swear. Yeah. I kinda have sensitive I kinda have sensitive arms. And yeah. um, muscular arms. Yeah. From weightlifting and uh body sculpting classes. When I wasn't That's why uh, that's why you lift me. Yeah, I can actually deadlift my boyfriend. <laughs> anyway, um, I, uh, I would take the, I would take the weightlifting, I would take, um, gym classes because I didn't want to get fat while I was sitting in a computer chair on the animation classes. I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to have enough time to go to the park, so how am I going to stay in shape? And so I was like, okay, I'm going to take some of the classes that are available at my college. Hmm. And honestly, it's win-win. I get, I get to make friends with the teacher, and I get a gym I don't have to clean up after words. Better hurry. I'm trying. I'm near the end. Last time I got hit by the... Freaking balls and I fell over. Come on. Uh, yes. You got yes. this. Yes. Good job. 
Sorry, Thunder. Yeah. Um, it was actually kind of hilarious. I, I don't go to the hospital all that often, except for to talk about updates on my disability, which are really boring. It's kind of like a staff meeting at a, at a teacher's conference. Okay, how's your progress? Do we need to put you on pills? And What's the like, new next, next art, art stream? stream? Um, next art stream is on Tuesday, as always. Anyway, um, as I was saying, you know. <laughs> For me being loud. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> it's a cool drunk story to tell people for sure. I was like a curious little kid. I was, I was like, why are we here? What's going on? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Some people, you know... No! What are you doing? That's our goal! Damn it! I am not gonna use to get to the yellow team. Come oh, on! Oh, you're lazy. Oh, shut up. I'm trying. Everybody keeps tailing the ball for me. I am good at this, trust me. This no, is like playing not. Rocket League. All the teammates fighting against you instead of together. At least most of the teams I go on, which is why I like to do solo 1v1. It's better. <laughs> you opinion. fail. Damn it. Excuse me. What did you burp? Come on. Come on. I'm here, I'm here to, to suffer. suffer. <laughs> <laughs> All we need is to get two goals. Come on, guys. Why? I got paired with a bunch of new people, I guess. I don't. I try not to be a toxic person and blame it all on the team, because I swear. I'm. These, this ball is super big. Okay, wait. Wait, come the, on. Big balls. No ACDC joke. No ACDC joke, you can't sing anymore. I was gonna, you know what I was gonna do. Damn it! Sometimes the yellow team is the best team. <laughs> Alright. There goes my streak. Still round four, not bad. <laughs> Yeah, I, normally I am a pretty existential person. I'm the type of person to ask really deep questions a lot. I can't help it. Mentimore. Yeah, and uh, that's why I'm not afraid to get existential when I first meet someone, which turns people off, which, um, yeah. So, can you can imagine that the drugs seem to amplify that just a tad. <laughs> I, I found you drunk funny. Yeah, it's kind of funny when I say expressions like knit owl and, uh, what, what was it? You called me. Don't mention that part. Uh, so, um, one of the things, uh, I had to go to, back when I used to live in California, I used to, I, um, I had to go to, it was super hot. It was like San Francisco, right? It was like the hottest year in San Francisco. And it was for the San Francisco Comic Con. And me and my mom were at this like dive bar, I think. And I, she's like, here, do you want some iced tea? And I said, sure. She forgot to warn me that it was Long Island iced tea. So I take a I took a big gulp of it like it was water, and the next thing I know I'm swaying out of the bar. <laughs> I only had one drink. <laughs> it's like normally I have a bit more control than that. I'd say I stop when I start to feel a little buzzed. I've never gotten full on drunk before, because I don't like wow. that. I don't know what's gonna do to me, you know. 
I've heard horror stories about people with mental disabilities like me getting drunk and starting fights or something. I don't want that to happen. Well, we, we should have tested that when the whole week. Um, so far I think my limit is five or six drinks, which is not too bad. Know your limit. Very important. Some people just don't know. I was like that too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Thunder. Thank you, Thunder, for the hug, Thunder. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> We're all friends here. Yep. Virtual hug. Then again, I'm probably not a person you should ever. <laughs> yeah. There, I am. Um, one of the things that um, some people ask, why are you so against drugs? And I said, well, I used to take prescription a lot and I used to not feel like it was me, so. You know, if you if you smoke weed or something as a like therapy item, I'm not gonna judge that, but it's just not for me and stuff. Um, so uh, I just don't want it to be a thing that I I don't want it to be a crutch. Coffee and sugar are enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Caffeine and sugar. I mean. Yeah. Welcome. I do our games. And uh, today, yeah. Flush and then a, a red robin. That was my first birthday. Yeah. Okay. My 21st birthday, we went. My 21st birthday, we went to a. We had a camping trip. I wanted to do it. I'm a huge fan of camping. Like, huge fan. I love camping. Um, and so, we went to this Door little campsite. I don't, I don't, I don't think they can hear you. hear you. You went. Break. I can... <laughs> yeah, for some reason there seems to be some sort of network problem with my voice chat lately, but... It doesn't seem to be a problem when I'm going live. Hmm. Anyway, um... So, I wanted it to just be adults normally. Normally, I don't have, like, an age restriction on, um... who I invite for my birthday. But for my 21st, I kind of just wanted it to be... to be, um... the older people of my family. And at the time, I told mom, no extra people, I just want it to be us. And normally when she says that, it must come out the other way, because she invited my, my aunt and my uncle, and they had recently had a baby a few years ago named Charlotte, and she was there, and I was like, I didn't feel comfortable drinking in front of a baby, as you can imagine. I mean, even though she might not have understood what was going on back then, still not good to drink in front of kids, in my opinion. I'm responsible that way. I don't drink in front of my cousins or any of the younger kids. I also try not to make drinking an emotional crutch, although sometimes when I feel like I can't sleep, or I need emotional comfort, I will have one glass of wine and that's it. You know, nothing too okay. drastic. Can we Can say, we say something, something else? Well, if you want to talk about something else, I'm all for it. Nobody seems to be bothered by the conversation except for you. Just saying. I'm not gonna change who I am just because it makes you uncomfortable. 
Exactly. exactly. I'm an artist, I'm a gamer, I'm a skater, and I'm proud of those things. Well, apparently, well, apparently I'm gonna be an artist and gamer too. Yeah. Um. I have taken almost every single aspect on film and animation as you can get, except for, um. Except for maybe a few. I've taken stop motion. I have. I think the only thing I haven't done in the animation field is voice acting, but I kind of want to at some point. I have taken acting classes and singing classes, but not molded them together yeah, quite yet. Nick's playing at the moment, so we're gonna watch him. Well, I get <laughs> yeeted. You got yeeted. Yeah, um... And, um... I have a big love for all kinds of media. And so I want to celebrate all of them on this channel, basically. I've taken a music designing class, and it'd be cool to design some tracks for other streamers to use. Now, it probably won't be for another year or two, though, because I still need to get a better laptop than the one I have right now. I just sort of use it as my art stream device. I literally call it art stream laptop in my brain because it's the only thing I use it for. Everything else, the photo edits and the digital drawings that I do sometimes, all on my phone. All of it. <laughs> Yeah. Did you get... Yeah, you got kicked out? You got eliminated? Yep. yep. Alright. Yep. Here we go. One of the reasons why I wanted to do Fall Guys is because I want to do something chill. Originally I was going to do um, Ghost of Oshima, but I might do that tomorrow instead. Yeah, but I think we've had a heavy day. We need something more chill. So, as it stands, my channel is good vibes only. <laughs> Do, to be honest, I don't know what is what it is my thing in art. You're really good at pixel art. I like pixel art. I feel like it gets a little bit of a bad rap because everybody just sees it as blurry pixels. But I think, as someone who's tried every aspect of art that could possibly be, I found out that I'm not a knitter. That I can't really do pixel art. I've done a few on accident when I like worked in MS Paint and I made my art a bit too small. Like I've made, actually made some pix, pixel icons on accident before. And I was like, happy accident. You know? I don't know if, oh, I, if I should do a background or not. Be a background artist or... Hmm. What? Backgrounds can be tricky. If you feel like you're, like you're too pressured, a lot of my favorite fan artists, they just make an impression of a background. They don't do a full-on background. Like, there's this um, there's this really good miraculous ladybug fan artist that I that I um follow on Instagram called the False Viper. All her backgrounds are just um fuzzy bubbles and a hint of a background using some blurred brushes. So you uh, sometimes subtlety can go a long way with art. Like, it really can. I'm trying to do backgrounds because I want to do color palette again. I kind of stopped doing the comic because I felt like I can't do backgrounds very well. I, like, did a generic school background for, like, thing, but I kind of want to be like, what, what makes Spectrum High different than other high schools? And all that stuff. I don't know, I might be a, a UI designer, but I have to test. 
Do what makes you feel happy. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh, yes! 42, the secret of the universe. I find I've done best in pencil sketches and acrylic painting. I love making cosplays. Yeah. Do embrace what makes you special, you know? My gift is creating stuff out of ink and pen and paper. And using metallic pencils. Making things shiny, basically. Well, well Tomato would be proud I know of me. I'm gonna be a digital artist. <laughs> yeah. And thank you. Thank you so much. I enjoy doing it, you know? I feel like it's my calling, my spark. Okay, oh, Joe. Hey, <laughs> I, I draw for my very soul. You know if I do a bad line art, you probably should be asking if I'm okay. <laughs> like, are you okay? Because I try to meticulous, every drawing has meticulous detail. Or I try to make it that way. If a line art is simplistic, it probably means I'm gonna probably do something extravagant for the coloring stream like the um like the the mushroom the mushroom crystal one with the dragon eye that had a very simplistic fan, uh, line art so when I went to color it I made sure that it had um complicated moss um effects to it you know just something unique about it and um actually i started off as a digital artist first i mean i looked i did traditional a little bit but i was a digital artist first and then now i sort of just kind of flip-flop between the two or sometimes i'll color in an art stream right and then i'll add effects to it in pixart afterwards like that's what I did for my Dragonfly and Ember and the Nutcracker ones I did recently. Those, I colored by hand, then I added, like, lighting effects to them. So, I sort of just mold the two. You're welcome, and yeah, the farthest I've gone with any kind of digital art is my, the hair was for it. Oh yeah. I've actually wanted to do something that is a little bit um, different than what I usually do. Uh, I took a planting gig a few years ago and I found out I have quite the green thumb, especially when it comes to maintaining succulents. So what I wanted to do, I mean, you have to try really, really hard to, you must, like, people must try really, really hard to kill. Do you want Game Store or three? Huh? Three, three or two or more games? Oh, well, I'm gonna do the full-on home stretch. I'm gonna try to get to level 40. But if you want two more games, that's fine. Come on! Grab! I'm pretty much tired. God damn it. I forgot how to grab for a second there. <laughs> yeah. Come on. What? Oh, right, R2. Got it. Oh, someone is a... Detroit? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. I love... I love Detroit. It's such a good game. So full of good lessons about humanity and how to appreciate it. I feel like we don't appreciate being alive sometimes. I definitely learned to appreciate being alive after playing that game. It's actually the first game that I played on this channel, other than um, Rocket League. It was the first um, big story series I ever had. 
I might play it again because there's some low, some, some um, situations I didn't do yet. Like in the. Dang it. Okay, I need to push this. Yeah. Oh, oh, so close! Dang it! Did you make it? No, you didn't make it either. Okay. Um. Yeah. I try to be involved in the Connor Army um, art months as much as possible, especially when I'm going through an art rut. I find that um, having a community cheer you on also helps you motivates you to do art because sometimes when it's just me when I'm just doing my random sketches sometimes I'm like I'm like dang it this could have been better to 40 door? yeah you're level 25 I know you do know that my standard my standard uh streams are an hour to two hour to three hours long, right? So. Okay, oh, Dork. I gotta go. Alright. And now. I'll be on stream, though. I'm alone. Oh no. It's just me. Okay, here I go. Here I go again on my own. <laughs> Kidding. All right. So yeah, I try to foster a pretty chill and awesome community that uh, appreciates all parts of media. Because I don't know a lot of people have this stigma that gaming isn't art, but it is. A lot of people had to sketch out those characters and create them, and so many dedicated animators in Detroit, like. There was like 37,000 frames. Are you kidding me? I struggle to make a small animation short for school sometimes. <laughs> and that's just a minute long. A minute to three minutes long. Dang it. Let me in. Let me in. Thank you. Dive, oops. Head first into the wall there. Yeah. Okay, ready? Ah, oh, freaking hell. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Damn it. For some reason, I struggle with gate crash. Timing is not one of my strong suits in games sometimes. Yeah. Oh, and later how people say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I try to separate the character from the actor, especially with when there's like a big Hollywood um, conspiracy about the uh, actors and what they've done. I'm like, that doesn't matter to me. All I see is a character in a movie that, you know, and oftentimes when my mom goes, aren't, isn't that person married to that person or something? I'm like, I don't follow celebrity gossip. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm part of the chaos crew too. I'm on the discord. Um. They're a pretty nice community, and um, I like how the how the Discord is run. How it's a bit more free, you know. The Connor Army Discord kind of started out like that, and then as the channel built, it had all these rules I just couldn't keep up with. <laughs> Right, right. 
It's like, it's hard for me to remember stuff like that sometimes, because of my disability. And I don't want to use that as an excuse, but I knew that they were just going to remind me and I was on my last warning anyway. So, I'm just glad nobody decided to uh, Twitter cancel me. It's a very complicated situation with me and the, the Connor army. I'm still a part of that. I'm part of, part of the fandom, but I'm not... Yeah. I put it, it's complicated. <laughs> I'll still join the streams and I enjoy it when I'm there and people recognize my name. It's nice. 28 months. Wow. Yeah. And I hope to be part of it for years and years to come. Yep. I, I actually am, I actually am subscribed to Brian for 28 months, which is pretty a big accomplishment. Uh, can't talk today. Accomplishment. You know? Um. Yeah. 28 stab wounds. Um, and it's pretty significant, actually. The Connor Army is pretty significant reason as to why I moved to Twitch in the first place. I used to stream Rocket League on YouTube, and then I found, uh, the channel through, um, watching one of Brian's streams on YouTube. And, uh, I followed the link and the rest is history. I decided, you know what? I'm gonna move to Twitch. Do they sound like a fun community? And I did. And honestly, I think it's one of the best decisions I've ever made as a content creator. People here are nicer than on YouTube. And, uh, people engage more. People want to talk to you more. On YouTube, it was kind of... I kind of blame it on my stream time. I used to stream late at night because I can't really sleep. <laughs> you know? I'm a restless person at night, and it's usually where I get my sketches done, because if I'm going to be staying up all night, I would rather be productive. I sleep during the day. <laughs> I'm flip-flopped, because I'm American, but I like to be up at night. Which is why I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, celebrate good times. Yeah. Disco celebration. <laughs> I'm going to back up just a tad. Take a look at my my Deku shirt. Gosh, I need to catch up on my Hero Academia. I haven't watched anime in months. I miss it. Drawing and maintaining this channel takes up a lot of time. I don't really have a lot of time to play watch TV anymore. That's why I kind of use my game uh, movie nights on my Discord as a good excuse to get back into anime. Because <laughs> a lot of my community members are anime fans. I'm like, thank you. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Damn it. I know I can do this. I've done this before. I've had this mode before. I just need to think. Come on, jump. Yes. A lot of people that don't know how a sea saw works. Come on, lift. Lift, come on. What? I have that. I had that. You saw that. I had it. Oh shit. <laughs> Getting hit with, by the axe. Ugh. Man, there's only 30. Dork. 
Riley liked My Hero Academia. Who doesn't? My Hero Academia is such a good anime. It's so well edited and lots of positive vibes. Do, do, do. Ah, oh, no, I took too long. It's okay. We got this. No. It's not about winning, it's about having fun. And talking with you guys is fun. I am to see the new Tiger Bunny anime. Oh yeah. I can't wait for uh I can't wait for Demon Slayer season two. Demon Slayer is such a pretty anime. The, um, I like how when Tanjiro uses his sword, it looks like one of those old Japanese paintings. It really looks cool. I've actually drawn him a couple times. It's hard to really nail down how beautiful his water style is. And I got goosebumps when he used his flame style for the first time. I was like, oh shit, this guy can do flame style too? <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Let's get this bird. <laughs> so pumped up. Might just be my ADHD spiking up again. <laughs> but Man, I keep getting, like, dizzy heights a lot today. There are other maps, guys. <laughs> Heck, I'd even take tail tag. I'm not the best at dizzy heights, but I'm gonna freaking try. I've gotten lucky so far. I'm hoping our fan- yeah. I miss going to conventions. I miss, um, I miss having a table and meeting my fans. That's what I'm probably going to do, you know, if everything goes back to normal, I want to, okay, here's the, here's the current. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I tried to follow the current, but <laughs> I've met, I've met Brian. I've met... The Nostalgia Critic, I've met, I've met Flash Gordon, which, the guy who plays Flash Gordon, and uh, I've met, Jesus Christ, I met the guy who was the in the mocap suit for Darth Vader, the guy who was actually in the suit, not James Earl Jones, the guy who was on the suit and set, and uh, I wish I had a camera or something. I've met the voice actor for Zim. I can't remember his name. But I wanted to meet Tara Strong, but I like waited by her table for the longest time, but I knew she was really busy because she's probably she was probably in like the Ben 10 and like she's like in every cartoon ever made. Tara Strong is like has a voiceover role in almost everything. So as you can imagine, she was really busy and it was gonna be our last day. So it was really important for me that I got Tara Strong's autograph. But uh, I managed to get one because my older sister stopped by her her table. Apparently I just miss, she just missed me because I, yeah. And then um, she's like, "Hey, you, you, you were almost, you were almost close to meeting her, but you just missed her. So here's the autograph." I was like, "Okay." And then I met the guy who plays Tom, the guy who plays Tom and Tanami, um, Steve Bloom or whatever. I got his autograph for Nick. I kind of wish I got an autograph of his too, but. 
his autographs were kind of pricey. It was 60 bucks to get his autograph. And Flash Gordon was like 80. So. Yeah. And I didn't get to meet him, but he was standing in the room with me. So I can confidently say I stood in the same room as David Tennant. <laughs> he had his back turned, so he didn't see me. But one of these days, I'm going to get a autograph for Michael Sheen and David Tennant. So I can confidently say that I have Crowley and a Xerophel's autograph. <laughs> and the Tenth Doctor, too. Damn it! I'm so focused on talking to you guys, I'm not paying attention. Sorry. I'm trying. It's hard to talk in game at the same time. I'm having too much fun talking to you guys. I never met Brian. Okay, um... I met him. It was actually kind of a coincidence, though. Because I was, um, volunteering at Comic-Con. Um... I kind of wanted to see what it was like to be in both sides of the convention, both as the vendor and the person who's working it. So I was both in Artist Alley and I volunteered at a convention, at least that in the same year. I kind of like being in a Artist Alley person better. They treat you with so much respect. I'm like, oh, you're a vendor, right? Well, hurry up and go inside. You don't want to miss your, your table. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm... Thank you! I, I say as I look at my badge. <laughs> I'm like, you are the greatest! People, like, disperse from lines. You get by places faster. The only thing is that it's also annoying because you have to get other people's attention. And I am not the best at speaking up in an environment like that. I get overloaded and I try not to have an anxiety attack. And also, I'm loud and outspoken on my channel, but on in real life, I am sort of talk like this. And I have my head down. And I can't vocalize that well. Because I'm afraid people will hate the real me. Stupid, right? <laughs> and so, um... I, uh... As you can imagine, I love seeing people's faces in conventions. I like seeing people's reactions to my art. How people can go from approval to disgust within two seconds is a fun little exercise to see. And it's like, at least I got some reaction out of them. For the people who have no reaction, I'm sort of intimidated. I wish I could do Artist Alley as a vendor, but I'm not that good yet. Don't, don't put yourself down, okay? One of the first rules of being an artist is not to compare yourself to other people. If you draw chubby art, you're awesome. If you draw realistic art, you're awesome. If you can draw a game character as they look in the game, you're awesome. If you are, I don't know, if you can put a needle and thread or beads together to make it look like a beanie or a shirt or one of those bead arts I keep seeing around, you are awesome. You all have different unique skills that we should utilize. You know? Don't ever apologize for, for being different. I had to do that for the longest time. And I regret it ever since. I feel like if I was just as outspoken and unapologetic as I am now, I'd probably have a bit more friends than I did in school. But, uh, yeah. Being a streamer definitely has helped my self-esteem. 
and how I talk to people. I'm thinking of practice or not. Yeah, I love photography. Photography is one of my favorite hobbies. And uh, it's so fun to like try to angle the camera to get cool lighting. A lot of times I use Pinterest, but sometimes I use my own photography as a reference. That, see, that's cool. I, I am decent at phone work, but sometimes I get frustrated when the phone crashes and I have to come back to it later. I'm like, I'm about ready to throw this phone out the window if the program I'm using crashes one more time. That's why it's important to save everything. Footballs? That's new. Oh, it's sports related. How can it be fruit shoot if it's sports related? That's new. Oh shit. I'm trying. Come on, little engine that could. Go, go, go. Stop pushing me. <laughs> Don't push me because I'm close to the edge. Members. I'm sad that the lighting in my room is this terrible. That you guys can't see my flame wristbands. <laughs> you can see my lava lamp though. That's good. <laughs> my glasses are coming in soon. Thank goodness I can see. Thank goodness we got another winter level. I think I posted it. Oh yeah. I definitely want to do a study on Gavin, like just drawing him. Study I've I've drawn him before. I haven't drawn Kemsky yet, I don't think. God knows I draw Connor a bit too much, but I can't help it. He's probably the easiest to draw. Ah. That's why I draw him. His freaking hair loop though, the little dangly part of his hair, are kind of frustrating. <laughs> but it's essential, you gotta get that hair loop. <laughs> yeah. I actually drew uh, Gavin a couple of, I think it was like a month or two ago. I plan on coloring that drawing soon. And I've gotten some paints and some glow-in-the-dark paint and I want to experiment with with glow-in-the-dark prints so that when I go on convention I can just brag about it being able to glow-in-the-dark. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. Everybody has different, um, skill levels and certain things like everybody kept on talking about how hard uh adrian from miraculous ladybug is to draw because of his hair honestly i think he's like he's a bit easier to draw to me than marinette because she's got those i don't know there's just something her her twin tails have this particular style about them that makes her you know, and I'm afraid that if I go off brand, no one's gonna be able to recognize her. That's kind of why I draw Cat Noir a bit more than Ladybug. But I probably will do a Ladybug study at some point because her design is awesome. I'm a fan of her her regular outfit. Everybody wants her outfit to be more complicated or more interesting let me just tell you that in in the world of miraculous that the costumes and how they look depends on the user 
So, at the time when Marinette became Ladybug, she didn't know whether or not she was going to continue the role. So, of course, her uniform will be straightforward and to the point, because that's who she is, straightforward and to the point. Adrian is a bit more complicated, so of course he's got the, the, the bell and the belt tail and all that stuff. I mean, he's a model, so of course he's gonna get all extravagant with his outfit. It fits their characters. On one hand, I do kind of want her to have like ladybug wings or something a little bit different for the future. I gotta get some sleep now. All right, see you, Thunder. Thanks for stopping by. I'll probably stay. I'll probably continue for another hour to thirty minutes. Then I gotta get some sleep too. It's like eleven o'clock my time. Just wanna say thank you guys to thank you to anybody who has followed me and who has supported my art and gaming streams, it means a lot to me. And to anybody who uh, stays followed and is patient enough to wait for the, for the videos. The reason why I do five days of art is because that's where my true talents lie, I think. I'm a decent gamer, but I'm probably not gonna be <laughs> doing full-time gaming, I just feel like when I, when I did back on my channel was like 90% gaming, it just got bored really quickly. I get bored when I lean on one side or the other. I know I talk more about art on my Twitter, but that's because I'm nuts about art. I can't help it. <laughs> but if you guys want to talk about games, I'm all for that too. I'm a gaming nerd too, just probably not as big as some other people are. It's funny that I always end up talking about my art on my gaming streams, but then I talk more about my my um, gaming on my art streams. I just find that a little hilarious. Come on! And I find it interesting because like, you see John. Yeah, cat people. Yeah. Exactly. There is a miraculous ladybug manga now, and I'm kind of curious. But, uh,. I just spent a lot of money during the holidays getting gifts for people and restocking my art supplies. So I'm probably not going to buy anything for a while, hopefully. Yeah, Jeremy Zag and uh, Tom had a... Uh, one of the things that's unique about Miraculous Ladybug is I kind of find it to kind of be an anime hybrid because um, it's distributed by Toei Animation, which also distributes a lot of anime. A lot of people don't know that. It's distributed by Disney, Toei Animation, and by Zag itself. So it's like... That's why that show's such a big deal. It's like to get a to get such a huge collab. I mean, that's why it was a big deal at the time. That and the show is awesome. I just feel like some of the writing choices are more for shock value, though. Sometimes I'm like, come on, really? But you know, the show is supposed to be smaller. You know, it's not supposed to be a huge narrative like everybody's making it out to be. You know. I mean, Ed and Eddie, right? That cartoon? There wasn't a huge character development in that show. It was a slice of life, and people liked it for it. It didn't get, like, a full-on resolution until the big picture show cartoon um, movie that was created right before the character, uh, character, the creator died. So... 
Cartoons can be small in scale. A lot of people forget that. Like, one of my favorite cartoons right now that's being aired is Greg of the Creek. It's about this kid who likes to go and play at a creek, and that's it. It only feels larger scale because the, Craig, the creek matters so much to Craig. That's what we want. We don't want full scale, scale narratives that doesn't really matter to the character. We want motivations that the characters care about. Because then it feels bigger in scale. As someone who has taken writing classes, here's a writing 101. If it doesn't matter to the character, it won't matter to the audience. It's very important. No matter how big or small it might seem. Like, if they like piano so much that they want to pursue it as a career, that they're willing to go back to Earth, then it feels significant to us, using Saul as an example. Or, this guy, he really wants to, to have a band, right? So he tries giving teaching a shot, and they go to battle the bands. School of Rock, I don't know why I'm doing a lot of music-related movies, but that's because those people care about music so much they're really, they're willing to sacrifice a whole bunch of things, you know? For example... This guy really wants magical stones to reset the world, but why? Because he is weird. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then we have heroes who are like, that's not a good idea. And we care about it because the Marvel heroes care about it. If we, they didn't care, we'd just be like, why are we doing this for? Damn it! Damn it. Yeah, exactly. I used to write... <laughs> it's okay, yeah. I used to write um, fan fictions and original stories on my Deviant Art page, but I've kind of stopped. It's been like a year. I miss writing for my Atox, and I miss writing in general, but... It was so much pressure, you know? And that, on top of becoming a streamer, I just couldn't handle it. I had to drop one or the other. I might go back to writing at some point. Because one of my biggest aspirations growing up was becoming a book author. I want my face at the end of a book someday. But, uh, probably not for a while. What I need, it, what I need is a good beta reader, you know? I need someone to look over. I was starting to lose inspiration, and so... One of the things I went to was this comic book art connection that's where writers and artists can meet like a speed dating thing i actually knew the guy who ran it because i helped him with his panel a few years back and it was cool to see us reunited he has this uh five-step program for people who want to succeed at content creating i actually have his book somewhere um and it's actually helped me with my channel but uh yeah, I enjoyed writing. It was fun. I kind of used writing as a therapy device. I still write poems and stuff in the descriptions of my drawings on Instagram. But other than that, I've kind of stopped for a while. I kind of blame it on the screenwriting class that I took. I enjoyed it, but it also had a lot of pressure because my teacher didn't want us to write sci-fi or fantasy so that was like half my my uh, my stories anime style storytelling is just high fantasy in a way so i couldn't write about fire crystal i couldn't write about emma purple i couldn't write about ponytail 
gun rate about any of my talks. I had to create a new one where it was grounded in reality. Let me tell you that the reality doesn't come from it being realistic to real life. It comes from the motions. It comes from the raw emotions of the characters. That's where the reality comes from. That's what I wanted to tell him, but didn't. I just went, okay, if I don't know what he says, he might give me an F. So I wrote this story called Lucy the Cannon, and she wanted to be a famous gunslinger person. She wanted to do a gun shoot, gun range competition. And it was like, why does she want to be one? I was like, because she likes professional shooting? I don't know. I had to think about these things. I was like, how much? I had to like look up how much, it, what, how much money people at gun ranges make and all this other things like that. It was kind of frustrating. Don't go to art school. <laughs> It takes- it takes the soul right out of you. You want to do it because you love it. Not for grades. As someone who is on the cusp of getting their graphic design degree, it is both fun and sad. I like editing photos. I like those classes. I don't, I don't like a lot of structure, like a lot of art teachers will have this huge rap sheet of what you're supposed to draw and not supposed to draw, and I'm like, I thought this was supposed to be an expressive class. Yeah, it's an expressive class with limits. And that's f frustrating, you know? Okay, rant over. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to have some positive vibes, but I guess I got a lot to talk about. These comics are fan comics. Yeah. I love fan comics. Did you guys know that the creator of One Punch Man started off like us? Like a online creator? His family didn't support his dreams, so he was going to get an actual job. And one of a highly credited anime and manga artist is like, No! I like your work! And I'm going to help you make it a reality, you know? It's Those are kind of stories that you hear at career day at high school. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I kind of want to just play until I get the ski emote, <laughs> I guess. I want to get to level 40 to get the trophy, but I don't know if I can make it that far. We'll see. I have made it to the final rounds of Fall Guys, but I've never actually won one. In my mind, I'm winning the game by passing the rounds. It makes me feel better <laughs> than to say, oh, I can't do this game. I'm such a total loser. It's like, no, I made it to the final round. <laughs> you know? I actually did the um, hexagon trials a couple of days ago, and I made it through the first three levels. That means it's possible for me to pass hexagon. Now I know that. Maybe one day I'll get a crown. But we'll see. So that's not really important to me. I play Fall Guys because it's fun. Did you play Among Us yet? I have Among Us sitting on my phone. And I want to do a community event on Discord, but we don't have enough people to do, to do that yet. I have a Discord, and uh, it's growing 
very slowly. And anybody's welcome to join. Gamers, artists, musicians. You know. Yeah. I feel like I'd be a horrible imposter as well because I like telling the truth. So if people ask if it's me, I'm probably going to say yes. <laughs> I like telling the truth, okay? I... I'm not... I can keep a secret if I want to, but it's really tempting for me to tell the truth to people. But it's like, I'm the friend that you go to to ask if your dress makes you look fat, and then you want an honest answer. I'll try to sugarcoat it, but it will be very tempting for me to say yes. <laughs> you know? I'd rather have the truth than a lie, no matter how small. Yeah. I just feel like, um, it comes down to the friendships that I've had. Friendships. What happened was when I was a little kid, I was friends with these girls in my neighborhood. And I'm not going to disclose their names, but, uh, they were only my friend beca friends because they wanted my stuff or they wanted to take advantage of my kindness. I didn't used to be this jaded person like I am now. I was actually a happy-go-lucky optimist who always saw the good in people, and a part of me is that way. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. And, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Party Pack 7 as well. I originally was gonna do that for game night tomorrow, but I decided to play... I decided to move Ghost from today to tomorrow. I'm... This is... Technically an extra stream. Normally I stream art on Tuesday and gaming on Thursday. But lately I've been trying to squeeze in some extra streams due to me being stuck in quarantine. It's like if I'm gonna be stuck, I'd rather hang out with my friends on Twitch and see all you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I do know that there was a... I, like, followed the Twitter recently. So I know that there was a Jackbox stream that I missed. I don't know why, but my notifications on my phone are always delayed sometimes. Like, I won't get a message until, like, three days later or something like that. That's why when I check my Twitter for, like, my follow count or Instagram, I don't trust it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I just have too much stuff on my phone. My phone is at max capacity at this rate. I always get like crash notifications because the UI just can't handle itself anymore. I kind of feel bad for my phone, but yeah. Wait, did I make it? No, I... I got eliminated, right? Yeah, I did. Right. That hoop game is kind of tricky. Yeah. I feel a little bit more nervous now that I'm by myself. Basically, my entire mod team went to bed. <laughs> yeah. I was... I think that uh, Twitch solved that bot problem that I was having. Um, I had been getting bot follows, I think. And they were um, spamming my message thing for, for follows and... Just want to say I'd rather have real, real people in the chat, and nothing against bots, but, uh, <laughs> not in my chat room. Yeah. 
I know, right? It's annoying. Like, you think, oh, I got follow, cool. And then I realize, oh, they're not real. It makes me feel bad. I'm like, is there something wrong with my content that real people don't want to show up? <laughs> I seem to be a big target of scammers all the time. One time, one time someone wanted to subscribe to my YouTube channel because they wanted a free logo. Let me just say I don't take commissions at the moment, but if you want a logo for free, or at least 50 cents, I will do that. But, I will give out free logos to my most loyal of followers. That's it. Anybody else who just pops in randomly, a dollar to fifty cents per icon. <laughs> I'm calling it now. <laughs> yeah. That's how much disrespect artists get. I feel like a lot of people only care about art streamers when they make emotes for people. I know that's a very grim outlook, but I feel like the art community in Twitch is one of the most wholesome and awesome people out there. They don't get enough attention. Compared to the gaming streamers, who are basically the glorified kings of this platform. I play games too! Here I am playing games, but... Artists make things out of nothing. You are literally com commentating on some someone's artwork. Yeah. Exactly! The video game you are playing right now exists because someone sketched it out on a piece of paper, handed it to a, handed it to a conf in a conference, and said, "This is my game." You know? Exactly. It's very important that we respect the artists when they're alive, and not repeat the mistakes of when in the olden days when artists would only gain respect when they were dead. I'd like to think that I gain respect when I'm still alive. <laughs> I'd like to see, be alive to see my success, and in a lot of ways I feel like I have achieved that just a little bit. My community is small, but dedicated, and I appreciate it. I think it's because people, yeah, I think it's because people are jealous of something they can't do. Like one of the reasons why I'm kind of jealous of sports people is because they, hello, welcome. I do earn games, I'm doing a casual Fall Guy stream, and how are you? I just did an art stream um, yesterday. My day's going good. I'm just chilling out. We're talking about how, um, the stream, streaming community is a little off balance in Twitch. Just a little bit. And not like a negative review or anything, but just that I wish that art streamers got more limelight a little bit. I, I play games too. You know, I like games, and games exist because people designed them. The artists designed your favorite games. That's why I try to host both gaming and art streams on my channel. Um, I'm playing a PS4. I don't have a PC version yet. I might, but I heard you might have to pay for that. I get a uh, free play for Fall Guys because I had PlayStation Plus. Yeah.
Sorry. Um. Sure. Um. Yeah, exactly. I play games every night as like a therapeutic thing. If I feel like a sketch hasn't gone well and I need to be cheered up, I'll play some casual or ranked Rocket League and then get frustrated if I get beaten by an opponent I know I could probably beat. <laughs> and then I need therapy. <laughs> Then I need to take a therapy break by watching dumb YouTube videos. <laughs> I mean, they're they're funny. That's why they're, you know, like... It's a vicious cycle. I get frustrated with art, so I play video games, but then I get frustrated because I'm not doing too hot. Then I have to do something else. I actually have a Rocket League club, um, it's kind of like a second discord. It's where we go, we get a private room, and, uh, I get to play with my followers, or... So far it's just me and my mod team, but hopefully we can get more people soon. Come on. Spring! No! Fell over. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Yeah. Am I the best gamer in the world? Probably not, but I've been playing games since I was five years old and I enjoy it quite a bit. To be honest with you, I'd say I'm more of an arcade streamer than a serious story mode streamer like everybody else is. Don't get me wrong, I'm playing Ghost right now. Uh, the next episode is tomorrow, and I'm recording the second episode tomorrow. Yeah. I want to have a healthy balance of all of them on this channel, of art and games. You know? I think people like that. People who came to the channel like the variety. I want to get into Among Us, but at the same time, when I see Jack playing Among Us for like the 500th time, I'm like, it's not really fun to watch, is it? At least not to me. I'm like, it's a lot of waiting around and people talking in chat room. I tried to get into a stream like that, but... Honestly, I think Fall Guys and Rocket League are a bit more entertaining to watch, personally. It's probably more fun to play. Yeah. There are certain genres of games that are fun to play, but aren't really fun to watch. Like... And likewise, there's a lot of fun games to play, I mean, fun games to watch but not necessarily play, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't, I'm not really a huge horror person, so I can't imagine myself playing Amnesia or something like that, unless it was for a dare, or a milestone, where people want to see me scared. <laughs> it's like, if you really want to see that, damn it. Oh well. You know, we're getting some wins, we're getting some losses. That's just life. I try to I try to have an optimistic look every time I don't pass. Let me have this. Just kidding. Um Yeah. I try to have a positive outlook, you know. 
I used to have such a negative outlook on the world. I was a... I was a troubled kid. You know? And, uh... That just needed to talk. I just needed help and I just wasn't... I didn't have enough courage to ask for it. So I pushed people away instead. But now I'm getting the help I need. And people come to me for help and in return and it's super cool. You know? And I feel like I'm not so troubled anymore. It's like that song, um... I'm trying to remember what song it was. Yeah, I love to see them. I have a self-promotion tab on my Discord. I can't guarantee it will give you any leniency, but it will still be good. I'm determined to pass this time. Yes, push me hammer. Yeah, there we go. I thought that was Nick for a second, but he said he had to go. I kind of want to have the goal of having 2,000 2, people, but at the same time I'm like... I don't want to do that to myself. I don't really have set channel goals like most other streamers do. My goal is to get more than... 10 people in chat, or, yeah. Yay! It's like, my goal this year is to build a community, and I'm slowly doing that. And although I am a member of the Connor Army, not everything I draw is going to be Brian or Amelia related. I'm actually kind of shocked at how little art streamers there are in the Connor Army, considering how many talented people are, uh, are artists in that community. Like, damn. I enjoy seeing everybody's artwork. I kind of miss being in Jericho and Zen Garden. I had been... I had been in the Discord for about a year. I did not, I did not make any friends, I just posted art, and so I thought, I'm gonna try talking this year. And uh, I started talking and gaining some friends, and then, yeah. I'm not gonna talk any further than that. I mean, what happened was a shame, but... It's times like this that I'm... That I'm not, like... You cannot use a disability as an excuse for acting out in real life, sadly. Even if it is... Like, let me just explain to you what having an autism attack is like. You are not in control of your own body. Someone else is saying those words. It looks like you and sounds like you, but really I felt like a prisoner in my own body sometimes when I do get triggered. I, most of the time, things that I say, yeah, are not what I would normally say. And unfortunately, there have been targets of said triggers I have angered teachers and co-workers alike some people just don't understand the flip-flop you know 
One minute I could be totally fine, the next minute I could be screaming at your face for no apparent reason. I've gotten better at managing it though. I'm not on the pills or anything anymore, but I am working on a five-step program to recognize the signs when they appear and to stop them before it gets too bad. Yeah. That's what my artwork is kind of is. In a lot of ways, it's kind of weird. I submit my diary to the world and then I color it. <laughs> when you really think about what I do, it's a little strange. I actually thought about starting a vlog series on YouTube where I start a YouTube channel called Fire Crystal Vlogs and I just talk about stuff. But I'm afraid no one will be interested, so I don't. <laughs> My life isn't all that interesting. I draw artworks, I play video games, and then I go to sleep. And that was before the pandemic. <laughs> I mean, occasionally I went to the skate parks and I played and I went on the ramps and I skated a bit. I mean, maybe people would like that, to see that part. Yeah. The pills aren't, everybody says just take pills then. Well, let me describe to you what taking pills is like. You are numb. You don't feel, you don't just have overload of emotions anymore. You don't feel anything. You just feel blah when you're on pills. That's how I felt. I felt like my mot motivations and passions had just been stripped from my body. Artwork? Nah. I took um, some Ritalin and some seizure pills to keep me from having seizures, but I never had any. Yeah. Some, some autistic um, or focus pills can cause depression. And when you already have clinical depression, it just adds to it. It's not a fun look. In a lot of ways, I think the pills amplified my symptoms. They didn't make them go away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. I might try that. One of the other reasons why I stopped taking pills is because my parents wanted me to learn how to drive and a lot of the pills that I took strongly recommended that I don't drive anything. So I couldn't be on my pills and learn how to drive at the same time. Yeah. And one of the things that I say is, I'm going to talk about my disability. I don't care if it makes people feel uncomfortable. It's part of who I am. Always has been. <laughs> Always has been. You know that meme. It's like, I'm not going to apologize for being in the autistic spectrum just because it makes you feel uncomfortable. I am an autistic ace. I am technically ambidextrous, but I prefer my left hand. Ironically, when I do digital art, I actually use my right hand. Fun fact about that, I swap hands. For traditional, I use my left. For um, digital, I use my right. Come on, come on. We got this. I got this. I remember, I gotta dive. Dive helps thing. Dive helps. There we go. I dove. Do. Yeah. It 
And when um, I saw this uh, Twitter post, one of those um, excuses to get likes and retweets, like, is your account safe for the LGBTQ community? And I clicked yes. <laughs> one of the reason, one of the things on my Twitter is I post the description or I post the tweet within a tweet, basically. What I do is I is I type whatever I need to type that day onto my drawing, which is important that people don't miss my sketches because I talk about channel updates and what's going on in on the drawing. I just feel like it kills two birds with one stone and I don't have to do a, a lot of like, I don't have to do a separate tweet. I can just say, here's the sketch for the day. Um, probably gotta take a break for a week or two. I hope that's okay. Things like that. Yeah. For the longest time, I had no idea how to identify what I was to people. In high school, it seems self-labeling is a thing that people have to do. When people go, are you les? Are you straight? Are you bi? Like, are those my only options? It's like, I don't feel anything. There are some times where I feel attraction and when I don't. In a lot of ways I can say I feel I'm like gray sexual. Yeah. Gray asexual. Like, I'm obviously attracted to my boyfriend, but there are some days when he wants to hold my hand or wants to kiss and I just don't feel the need. Yeah. I'm like, ah, eh, I don't want to. Not because I'm not attracted to you, I'm just not in the mood. You know? Which is why I don't draw super sexy versions of characters that I draw too. They're always very neutral, and when I do do pinups for my for my girls, they're usually they're not scandally clad. My girl characters aren't drawn. I mean, there are a few that wear half shirts, but that's it. The closest that I'll get to to um, skimpy is half shirt and a short skirt. <laughs> That's as skimpy as my girl heroes will get. I know that there are a few superheroes where- Have you seen the comic version of Starfire? Her outfit is just basically a very, very sexy and revealing y unitard. No wonder why Robin was so interested. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I like how Raven's dressed. She's got that, that leotard, right? But she also has the cloak. So she's not, it's like, it's tasteful, you know? I feel like a lot of people point fingers at women's outfits and video games that they forget how comic books are too. Like Mystique is literally just naked most of the time. What about her? Or, um, Emma Frost. You know? It's like, I want my channel to be a safe haven for all different types of Majority and minorities. Don't feel like you have to hide who you are from me because I understand. It sucks to have to pretend that you're quote unquote normal just to get a job. Like one of the reasons why I stopped job searching for a while is because when I came clean about my disability I oftentimes didn't get the job. 
I did get the job when I said I was normal and there's nothing wrong with me. Fancy that. And it shouldn't really be a controversial topic to talk about in the first place. I'm not, like, dumb or anything, I just have a slower brain processing than most people. Like, sometimes I feel like I see the hamster wheel spinning my head around <laughs> sometimes. When sometimes I can answer right away. Like, if you ask me a question, I probably don't. Sometimes I can just answer, right? But other times when someone asks me something, I go, duh, um, hmm, I don't know, you know? Like, I couldn't think, I couldn't decide, oh, oh shit. I didn't abandon the show, right? Crap, I did. I passed, though. Damn it. The one time I pass again. Something good. See what I mean? Something like that happens. And I can't remember if I passed. Hey, dork! How you doing? Just playing some chill fall, guys, as you know. And trying to get to the ski emote. Because I think the fog guy doing the ski thing. Yeah. I don't talk about my disability on my twi Twitter or Instagram, but there was this shirt that I had. There is this shirt that I saw on, um, on um, Amazon. It says not all disabilities are visible. And it's true. There are some people think that being disabled just means having a wheelchair or missing an arm or a leg, but sometimes it could be having a broken brain. Like my brain is technically broken, but people with my disability often have... Oh yeah? And pe people with my disability often have normal, completely normal lives, or they're a slushy in a wheelchair. You know, there, it's called the autistic spectrum for a reason. There are people with severe cases, and then there are people who are like me, who have a very mild case where if we first met, you probably wouldn't know the difference. You know? Exactly. That's why a lot of people thought that Let It Go was really about her being I mean, it probably is, knowing Disney, but I also think it could be a coming out as disabled, too. Like, she is, she technically has a handicap in a way that makes her different. She has ice powers, and she's gotta hide that part of herself. Just like, I have to conceal, don't feel when I'm around other people, or else I might blow up on them. I don't want to, but it, sometimes it happens. Come on! You should have seen it. I did a Twitch Sings um, thing as a celebration of Twitch Sings being gone. I actually put it on my YouTube. I did this killer Let It Go performance. Because I can sing that song good because I can relate to her problems. Yeah. Yeah, it's not something, like, if we first meet, I'll probably be completely normal. But there's something going on in my brain processes. Processes. You know, I'm different, and there are some days where I'm proud of proud of it and then some days I'm like I have these bad feelings like oh why am I such a freak why can't I just think normally but then I go stop that 
You are fine just the way you are. You know? I used to be one of those cringy Twitter channels that that go, oh, why aren't we, why are people unfollowing me? Why are, why am I so weird? But as soon as I stopped doing that, people started coming in, you know? It's not good to have such negative thoughts all the time, but at the same time, if you need somebody to talk to, I'm here. For anybody who has thoughts like those, I can understand them. My high school reunion is in like, Two, it is in like two years, and I still don't know if I'm going to go, if I do get invited. Hey, remember that weird girl that would sketch in the corner and not really talk to anybody? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I know, look how much I've changed. I haven't changed. I have changed very little from high school, except maybe I show the warmness of my heart a bit better. I think I show that I care more. I used to be like, I don't care. Caring's, not caring is fun. And I'm just like, you gotta care about the environment, bro. I care deeply. That's why I pretend not to care, because I care too much. It's like that uh, Papa Roach song, Scars. I tear my heart open just to feel. Yay! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Mission successful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I vowed to myself last year that I was gonna come out as ace and autistic and guess what? People stayed followed. It doesn't really... I'm still the same person I was before. It doesn't really change anything. Besides, people who actually look at the front page of my channel, I have a donation link to the foundation that my disability is, um, and the symptoms it can cause. I don't know if people actually followed the link or not, but it's there. Yeah. You missed it, dork. There was like a sports shoot. It was like, it was like, um, it was like sports stuff instead of fruit. It was like a football and a, and a soccer ball. I was like, wait, this isn't fruit. <laughs> Come on. Come on. And if I lose a few followers for talking about it, then maybe my channel isn't for you. <laughs> It doesn't change how I do my art. It changes how I think. But it doesn't change, you know. I've never really talked about it in depth like this before. I just kind of use it as like a joke crutch sometimes. Like I go, oh no, my optimistic brain again. But. You know how people joke about having a complex? I actually have one. My disability is so rare, no one has ever heard of it. It's called a tubular sclerosis complex. And basically, it can cause autism, but it can cause OCD. It can cause depression. It can cause sleep problems. It can cause a bunch of things. Like, for instance, I could be really good at school but I could also be really bad at school at the same time. And that's how I am at school. I am both probably the greatest student in class and the worst student in class, all at the same time. <laughs> Isn't that fun? 
<laughs> yeah. It also means that uh, it comes with a lot of contradictions and it's hard to explain all the symptoms. I could have, I could be here all day to list. Um, I have rosacea and all these other skin things as well. They're not picked up on camera a lot. I look completely normal on camera, but I actually have like these little dots on my face that are not freckles. My mom calls them deer marks, but they're actually called something, you know. Thank you for the follow! I do own games. Thank you for stopping by. We're not afraid to get real on this channel. You know what's funny is, um, I actually had a dream the other night that I became an art therapist. And I never really would have considered that. But it kind of makes sense to have someone who's gone through something similar for people to really relate to it, you know? Like when my mom gives me art advice, I sort of just try to humor her, but she's she's an accountant, you know? I ask her for money troubles because and stuff like that, but my mom means well. And I appreciate her for all that she has been put through because of me. <laughs> my dad as well. really important if anything taught me if last year taught me anything it was to appreciate my family yeah exactly one of the things that I do when I do my vocal covers for YouTube or twitch is I like to imagine with the uh, with the what the um, artist might have been going through when they wrote it. So that way I can be as authentic as possible. So it can feel like almost as if I wrote the song instead. You know what I mean? That's what a cover should do. A lot of people like to add an enormous amount of vibrato when they sing the national anthem and it just pisses me off. I'm like, no, you don't sing it like that. This song was about the celebration of our independence and war. It is not a song where you can just belt it to be like, <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Let's see. There are a few performances that really blew my mind, though, when I do watch live sports with my family. And then there are some that made me cringe because, yeah. All right. Thank you for stopping by. Hope to see you next time. I don't normally get this existential on a stream, so. <laughs> normally we just have a bunch of fun and we laugh like idiots. But, uh, I like it, you know? It's like having... It's cool to talk about this with somebody who understands. Thank you for stopping by. Gosh, everybody's falling asleep. I'm probably, this is probably gonna be my last round. I promise I, pro I usually play Fall Guys a bit better than this, but that's because I normally can concentrate better. I don't normally get this many comments in chat. It's both exciting and terrifying. I'm like, what? People are coming to my streams now? What? <laughs> yeah. Good night.
Thank you for hanging out with me. Ah, oh, I got gloved. Hopefully we can find somebody to raid. Hey Nick, are you still there? Do you remember how to raid? You said Jeff is streaming? He he raided me yesterday. You should raid him. Oh shoot. Don't push me. No. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh yes. That's more like it. And uh, hopefully I'll figure out um, my um, overlay is going through some overhaul right now. I used the regular Archstream overlay um, yesterday, but my mod team and I are working on a new channel trailer. And I told Nick to um, feature, I told Nick to feature my art and gaming clips and to just basically do like a montage of what to expect from the channel to put on YouTube. So that's going to be exciting. Um, I might be open to more Discord community events. Like, um, one of my favorite projects that I did in school was actually, um, we made an animation together. We, we each got a thing to draw and then that would morph into something else. Maybe if we get another, a few more art artists in the chat, in the chat room. I could, we could do a transformation sequence and have that be the intro to the channel. That'd be cool, like, you are now drawing crystals dispersing or splitting up or whatever, or you are now drawing a skull and it has to transform into the next thing. I don't know, we'll see where it goes. Fall, 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 guys, guys. I got hit there for a second. Hello. Hello. The narwhal! It's falling over. Oh, snow snowman narwhal. Cool. I just wanna say I just wanna say thank you. Thank you, thank you to anybody who supports my art and gaming journey. I hope this year is going to be more exciting, more art, games, and creativity. So thank you to anybody who stays and supports the channel. It means a lot to me. Let's hope we create more memories of miscellaneous fun. I might change my Twitter description soon, but I'm not sure. I don't normally, like, you know... I think it's good the way it is, but I'm not sure. There's the indecisiveness again. I love that symptom the most. Definitely gives me friends. <laughs> Holy crap! One hundred and fifty five viewers. Oh my god. Thank you. That is crazy amount of people.
Thank you so much. <laughs> I made it! Thin eyes, so no. Will this finally be the day? I keep saying that, but it never happens. Watch, I'm gonna end up getting my first crown when I'm off stream. <laughs> Let's do this. No, you're not. Here I come. That guy, that cat is making holes in the floor. Great. Hop! Hop! Mario! Mario Hop! Hop! Doo doo doo! No! 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 I'm not falling today. Wish I was not an arcade. Playing in centipede. And I fell. <laughs> Even though I said I wasn't going to. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just playing for fun. If I do get a crown, that'd be awesome. But if I don't, eh. <laughs> That's what you should do, you know? It's fun to stream for accolades, but if you're just doing it for fun and to chill out, the real people will come to you. Hopefully. I've been trying to make that my motto. Every time I feel like I'm not doing as hot as I should. <sighs> Wait, I forgot to check what level I'm at. Am I getting close to the ski emote yet? Oh well. But yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to doing some more art and game videos for you guys. I don't know if I have a... I don't think I have a, a New Year's resolution except for maybe building a real community with awesome people from all different kinds of backgrounds and uh, different game types. It's like, I might not play Call of Duty, but it'd be interesting to hear some jokes about what it's like to play Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Can you hear my dog snoring in the background? Maybe I should play some music. After this round, I'll put on some music. I might stream another hour or so. We'll see. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna go. The longest stream I've had was a, was one of my coloring streams, and it lasted five hours. Because I colored five pieces no, it was four pieces in five hours. I almost, that's what I almost called it when I exported it onto YouTube. I almost called it four pieces, five hours. I think my, one of my, uh, New Year's resolutions, I think, is to do a charity stream for people with autism. Hopefully that will be a thing that happens. Because I don't want to just say I'm advocating for people like me. I want to actually do it. Yay! Fun fact, um, I actually talked to the people on the TSC Foundation and I was really close to to getting a charity stream for TSC Awareness Day because I feel like it needs more awareness because it's so rare. Um, and I was this close to maybe being able to add it on Tiltify. But uh, I didn't hear back from the person in time to do it on actual Awareness Day.
Wait, did I make it again? Did I accidentally exit out of the game after I made it again? I did, didn't I? Oops. Oh, man. <laughs> I stay for my failures and leave for my successes. Hooray. <laughs> um. I'm planning on doing a major o overhaul in lighting. I'm gonna get photography lights. I'm gonna get lava lamps. Cause this room means needs more lighting. I kind of want to do a neon stream where I turn off the lights and everything you see on the wall is like black backlit. That'd be so cool. I'm so excited for the possibilities. Yes, possibilities. One of my favorite things about bowling alleys and roller roller rinks is the is the cosmic days. Cosmic roller rinks is where they turn off the lights and they put on the disco lights and it's so cool. Uh oh. My TV's gonna shut off. There we go. I need to turn the battery save mode off. Cause there have been times where I've played Rocket League and it <laughs> and the T U would shut off and I thankfully recovered and won the 1v1 match, but it was intense because my rank was at stake. I was like, oh no, oh no! Val valiantly searches for the remote. <laughs> the tiger. Whew. The hard part is over. Now I just gotta get through this without being knocked over. Did I just make a pun on- did I just make a poem on accident? I did, didn't I? That happens more times than you think. Because I took a- I had started writing poems when I was 13, and then- but then- to like, as a self-therapy device, I decided to take a poetry class. And my god, I enjoyed it, because all poetry class is, is reading a poem, analyzing it, and then you get to write poems in class. They can be about anything. It can be about your favorite video game. My teacher didn't care. I once wrote a poem about about my love for mac and cheese, and I got an A. <laughs> I wrote a sonnet about the about good omens, and I got an A. So anything's possible. I got an A for writing fanfiction, of poetry fanfiction. Hi, Pearl. This is my dog, Pearl. She gets a little antsy when I'm streaming. She doesn't like it when I work. What the hell? <laughs> That's never happened before. My fall guy can't do it. He's just like, I'm done. I can't do this. And I fell. That's okay. We got this. You can do this. I believe in you. You're a brave person. Takes it takes a lot of bravery to put yourself out there online. You have been an artist online for twelve years, and you have been a gamer for five. You got this. And I have fallen, but that's okay. Life is about falling over and over again. <laughs> oh well, I never really make it that much in the hoop levels. I don't know what it is. 
Everybody must be eating. Everybody, everybody must be um, taking plus five speed. <laughs> what? I'm trying to have fun, okay? Are you making fun of me? Wait, let me check my rank. Come on. 27. I'm so close to getting the ski emote. <laughs> looks like I got... It looks like I got, um... Eight more games and then I'm gonna call it. <laughs> he likes to make fun of my optimism. I'm saying this to me. So that I don't, so that I don't feel, beat myself up for get for getting eliminated. Am I the best gamer in the world? No. Do I enjoy games? Yes. I have fun. Okay. I have fun doing what I do, and that's the most important thing. I mean, I know it's the end of the year, and I'm gonna lose a few people, but... Don't go, I still have exciting things to do. <laughs> There's still so much I wanna do. I swear it'll be worth it in the end. so close. What the hell? Um, yeah, I know I said I was gonna, um, pull through and the ski emote but uh guys due to technical issues and the fact that i'm kind of tired i think the game decided for me about whether or not 
about whether or not um, I'm going to grind it out and get the emote. Uh, so, good night. I will see you guys for Ghost of Ashinima tomorrow. And uh, I hope you create and inspire. And uh, thank you to everybody who has supported my art and game videos. It means a lot to me. And uh, it looks like uh, it looks like I'll have to stop for the night due to technical issues. And uh, see ya. Bye.